And here we go. All right, we're going to make this little wrench guy. This actually would be the inside socket of a wrench without the outside of it with a little square thing, but um, it's a pretty fun one to make. So, as always, go to your tutorial, and guess what? They're getting shorter and shorter. So, we're just going to do planes, extrusions, and Phillips, aside from plane, trains, and automobiles. Name the actors. You've probably never seen it. Anyway. No big deal, but it's a fun movie to watch if you ever want to. Uh, so here we go. We're going to go File, New, English, as always, standard IN.IPT. And here we go. Start 2D Sketch. And XY Plane, as always. So, um... Starting off with just drawing a line. So this is going to look really similar to the last one at the start. We're just going to draw some vacant angled line right here. So this is going to look like the keyhole that you just got done making. Or it might have been two videos ago. I don't know. I make so many of these, it's hard to tell. All right. So line, another center line, right down the middle. All right. Guess what we're going to do next? Mirror. So click that line. Mirror, click this line, press apply. Just so you know, if you actually only click this twice, it doesn't matter if you if you click it once to select it, then you choose apply, and then you mirror it again, it's fine. Uncheck that guy. Okay. Arc. Same thing. Tangent arcs. Boom. 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 Make sure you hit that dot. The final step in this one. Uh, I apologize for the jump over. I, I've had to make an edit in this video. Uh, the final part of this is to dimension these two center points at 0.75. So this next few minutes is going to be kind of weird, but um, we should be able to get this figured out. Hopefully this won't be too much troublesome to do this edit because apparently I didn't record about a minute and a half of this. So press for a sketch. I know it looks like it's done. I'm going to go here and, and I'm going to show you what the next step is. And then we should be good to go. So your next step is going to be an extrusion. So do a symmetric. It's one inch. And then negative 0.7 is your taper. Once you get that done, you should have it nice and tapered in. Okay. Next step after that is we're going to click on this surface. We're going to create a new sketch on that surface. And then we're going to do something called a project geometry. I believe you did this in a previous video. Click in the middle. Don't click on the edge because you're just going to get this arc. Click in the middle so this entire outside turns yellow. I'm going to press escape. I'm going to choose offset. I'm going to bring this in 0.1. I'm going to press enter. Now this should always offset the entire thing, not just part of the circle. Press your finish sketch. We're going to do an extrude. And we're going to do a cut. Make sure you pick on the middle. It's going to go out. I want it to go in at point one. Press OK. And there you go. Okay, next step is I gotta move my cat here. Okay, next step is we're gonna do a new sketch on this plane here. Sorry, I about choked. Alright, so we're gonna show you guys some handy little tools. So luckily for us this one already has a dot on it because I need this um, the center part of this circle here. So I'm going to just press circle right there. And I'm going to click the middle of this. I'm going to make this 0.75. Now, I need to get this one here too. And if I touch this, I'm not clicking, I just touched it, it'll give me a circle as well. So I'm going to make this one. Got it. Okay. Sorry about that. I made a little mistake. So I, I need to do a trim. Let me show you something really cool about trim. So if you click trim, and if you left click and hold, you can trim multiple things at one time. Really cool little tool there. So do that, and then press finish sketch. Now we're good. So we're going to do another cut. We're going to press extrude. And you're going to go in, and you're going to go in 0.75. So 0.75. I said 0.75, folks. So it should be getting to where it's near the bottom of it, but not quite there. So I could do this next one in two different ways. I'm going to do this the easy way. 
So let's use the whole feature. Try and avoid making a sketch if you can by using whole features and other things like that. Um, it'll save you a lot of time later on. So, and it's good practice. So anyway, we're going to click somewhere in here. I'm going to click the edge. And we're going to make this 0.5 for this one. So I'll just take this at 0.5. And actually watch this. I'm going to, I'll just go ahead and press OK. I'm going to do it again. Another hole. I need to do that because otherwise it'll change them both. So I thought I could do it both at one time, but I don't think I can. So I'm going to choose here. This one's going to be 0.3. And once again, you have to click the outside circle to set it. Otherwise, it's not centered. And press OK. So now we're good. So the, the actual head of the wrench is done. Now we're going to learn how to do a offset plane. So to do these, you go down arrow for plane and go offset plane. Follow me step by step, please. Don't worry about the worksheet yet. Hit plus on the origin. This will allow you to see different planes on your object. So this is why it's really important to have a definite starting point. So I'm going to choose the XY plane. Now you see this? I can pull it down. If I go down, it goes negative. So I'm going to go negative 4 and press enter. Zoom out and you'll see it. So I know on the sheet it will ask you what part of the square do you hit. If I click the middle, nothing's going to happen. So I need to make a new sketch right on here. But I just want to hit this right here. So I'm going to click on this work plane and go create sketch. And there we go. So the great thing about this, the reason why you did the symmetry extrude to the star is so we could keep this middle line right here. It makes life so much easier. So next we need to do a circle. All right, basic old circle. And we are going to make this 0.75. Press enter. Hit finish sketch. Okay. The next thing on the worksheet I do is a different type of extrude. So follow me carefully. You're going to click extrude. And now you could just extrude this all the way up here. But the problem is, it's not going to create a good attachment to the head here. So here's what I'm going to do. There, there's a two next button. And what it does is it shoots it right to the top. So it creates the curvature right there. It doesn't go through it. It just hits it. And it hits all the curves. So that's what I want. So it's this little icon right here that says two next. And press OK. We're rolling along good. All right. So... I'm done with this work plane, and I hate seeing them on the screen, but I don't need them. So in order to get rid of them, you want to click it, left click, and then there should be a visibility. And if you click that, it goes bye-bye. Okay, so we got one more step left, and that is making the handlebar down here. We got a few more things to do to it, but that's pretty much it. So I want to go on the XY plane now and do a new sketch. So I'm going to do this really weird. You might think it's weird, but actually it will make a whole lot of sense once I'm done. So somewhere out here, we're going to make a rectangle. Just dump it out here somewhere because we're going to put it in the right spot. So remember the tab button going back and forth? The bottom should say 1, the side should say 4. And press Enter. Uh, we're going to try to line this up with the middle of this, but to do that, I need a line. So we're going to do a center line from the middle of this going up 3.75. Okay. So now I'm going to show you guys how to move something. You got to move it, move it. Sorry. Highlight. Actually, don't highlight anything. Hit move. There's a move button up here someplace. There it is. Highlight the whole thing. So... Kind of like AutoCAD, you highlight, but then you need a base point. And AutoCAD, actually, same thing. So I'm going to click base point once I have my object highlighted. Click this, and I click the middle. So you might have been wondering why it was really important to anchor this to the middle. This is why. It makes life easier. I could have done a project geometry, find the center point, done a few more steps, and it would have worked fine too, but I don't like working harder than I have to. Uh, press your finished sketch. Next, we're going to do an extrusion, just like we've done. Guess what? 
we're going to do a symmetry one. And we're going to make this one. So it's as wide as the head. That's okay. Okay. We're going along good, folks. So I'm going to show you guys a new fillet here. This is my new friend. This is called a loop. Okay. What the function of the loop is, is it help gets around those complex curves right here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set this to uh, 0.1. I'm going to click loop. If I click, oops, that did the wrong one. I apologize. Fill it, loop. Now, if I click right here, it'll just do the underneath head. I'm also going to do it down here too, just so the wrench has a bit more strength when it's being used. Uh, you'd also notice that the sides are way too rigid on here, so I'm going to do a fillet there too, and we'll just keep it that same one. Probably should have just taken that command and done it anyway, but that's okay. So we have all those things filleted. Now I want to do some basic text here, just so I see your pretty little names on here. So we're going to do a new sketch right here, but I'm going to do this one a little differently. So I've learned with making text that if you just dump in text someplace, it can go all different ways, and then, and then you have to rotate, and it, it's a big pain. I don't like doing that anymore. So I'm going to draw a line here, just some vacant line right there. It doesn't matter how big it is. It's just going to be our base point. So I'm going to go down arrow and geometry text. We did this a couple of videos ago, but it was on an arc, I believe. So click this. I'm going to click the line right here. I'm going to change my text size to 0.4 and type in your last name or your first name or both. Press finish sketch. Okay, so I have two options here. I could extrude it. It'll work fine. I could do a 0.1 extrusion or I can do an emboss doesn't matter. I just want it above the surface. I'm going to press OK. It's done. You're finished. Good job. If you wish to color it, go ahead. I could care less. So now remember, we're going to save these. Save as. We're going to do your last name. Inventor. can't type today. 1.6. I already have one on here, so I'm going to add an A afterward because I've done this twice. So there we go. Video complete. Good job. Make sure you get your worksheet finished. So the fillet loop, extrusion. There you go. Answer the questions. You're good. Worksheets are going to get smaller and smaller for these, but there may come a time when we do uh, the constraints that it might get a little bit more. So thanks for playing along. See you next time.